Hey everybody, Mike here, and this is kind of like a little live update, but I want to uh, get the right news out there to counteract something that's going around. My uh, email uh, kind of blew up yesterday from people who were writing me and saying, hey, there's this story going around the internet that Keystone RV is closing down, that the whole industry is in a turmoil because of it. And I'm not even gonna dignify uh, the person who started this phony rumor by giving him any street cred and sending you to that person's site. But, you know, this is the problem with the internet. There are so many, and particularly with the RV, there are so many RV uh, experts out there trying to start a YouTube channel that to, in order to get clicks, they will sensationalize the tiniest thing. And that's what happened with this, uh, this, this one internet source. This guy went on and he did this story over the weekend that made it sound like Keystone was collapsing and it was just, it was just totally misleading. Um, so here's what happened. Keystone's huge. It's a big company. It is the, uh, I think it's the largest manufacturer of towables in the world. Many different brands. We happen to have the Arcadia brand. Um, and uh, they're just, they're, they're huge. They have 50 plants. That's how big they are in Elkhart. Well, they did shut down a couple of plants. They shut them down uh, and uh, they did this as part of a, a kind of an adjustment of their production schedule. Uh, that's important uh, for them to do from time to time as things change. And as you all know, the economy has, uh, has changed a great deal. So they, um, they did lay off about 334 people, I think is the correct number, from two plants. And what they're gonna do is consolidate their manufacturing. They're always changing and introducing new brands like the Arcadia we have is one of their newer brands. And so um, they did, they, they shut down those two plants and 334 people were laid off. They employ like uh, 7,000 people. They have 50 plants. It was just these two plants. So by no means is this company uh, shutting down. We were with a lot of Keystone people all last week in Elkhart uh, at our gathering. And I can tell you that they're very much uh, still in business and have no intention of going out of business. And I think they've dealt with this guy who is the source of all this stuff. You know, it's a good example. I'm, I'm a journalist by, by background. And maybe this is a good way for me to say to people um, how you can kind of judge clickbait. That's what they call it. When somebody comes up with some really weird, uh, sensational headline and they want you to click on it. And this guy did more than that. He made it sound like he had talked to the industry and the entire industry was collapsing and worrying about all of this. And I think he's since done a, what we call in the RV business, or we call in the news business, a skin back, a skim back. And I think he did a skin back uh, basically retracting any misleading things that he might have said and uh, trying to minimize his involvement. But just watch it. Uh, I've answered all the emails that I got from people who have been telling me that they saw this story and they didn't know what to do. And, you know, being irresponsible like that and just saying, oh, I made a mistake, doesn't uh, make this damage go away. I mean, um, there's investors, there's the company that has spent all this time uh, correcting that phony story that went out, and uh, it's, uh, it's insane. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a story I wanted to get out. Keystone is not going out of business. Uh, and, uh, and you know, because one guy wrote this rather uh, sensational uh, uh, video that he did, put this out, you know, other people have picked it up, and, and the story has grown into this this monster out there. I mean, I'm, people have been saying to me, hey, you were with Keystone last week. Did they say anything about this? And uh, actually, this, the two plants closed while we were out there and, and Keystone was one of our sponsors of our gathering and these two plants uh, closed. And uh, I, I asked them, I said, well, what, what's going on? And they explained to me that it's just kind of a readjustment of their production schedules. and. There's no secret that the uh, entire economy has sort of slowed down. And uh, when you run a massive corporation like that, you've got to adjust schedules. And um, you, nobody likes people getting out of, out, of, out of work or having to be laid off, as happened here. But uh, 
I should also point out that uh, Elkhart is uh, just uh, booming with uh, job openings. I mean, it's the RV center of the world. So, you know, I, I think these 334 people are gonna have no problems finding jobs in other facilities as well, because Elkhart can't get enough workers, even as the industry is kind of adjusting their schedule. So it's, uh, it's crazy. So I thought I needed to get this out. Uh, you know, I'm not a apologist for anybody in the industry, and I have certainly had my criticisms that I give to the industry uh, over time, but uh, um, this is one where the industry and, and one company took a, took a pretty big hit uh, for no reason at all. So you're going to see more of these stories where people have, are, are putting out and recirculating that guy's phony report, even though he's since sort of retracted it, uh, don't believe it, don't spread it around, try and correct it. And this is just good advice for whenever you see really bad information on the internet, that so-called fake news out there. Uh, it continues to be a problem. And it's, uh, you know, you can tell when somebody is just really sensational and uh, they don't attribute 